This is already the second Sunday of Advent. I know time flies here in Ottawa as I record this. There's no snow on the ground yet. But still, we're starting to get in the moon. We're, and we're starting to look for the good news. The good news of this season. The birth of Christ. And all the signs of hope and peace and joy and love. And sometimes we find it. However, sometimes the messenger of those good news are not the one we hope for. And it's often a challenge for us, for Christmas, but for many other plays and topics. And, and even recently we had great example. Uh, Gordon Downey, the uh, late singer of the Tragically Hip, uh, during his last month, he gave a lot of his energy to raise issue with uh, regarding First Nations and the treatment and the legacy of the uh, residential school system. And some would say, it's nice, but <sighs> he's still a white man. You know, he should have, this message should have been carried by someone from the First Nations. Or <clears throat> sometimes uh, you want to organize uh, an event of awareness or support for LGBTQ2 plus uh, communities. But you're told that you're a white, hetero, cis man. So what do you know about that? Or once again, you're listening to a good message delivered from a strange man living in the wilderness. It's the same also <clears throat> that today than it was before, we tend to judge and give credibility according to look, according to exterior phenomenon. Is, is the man uh, closely shaved? Is, uh, the, what, what about the color of the dress of a woman? You know, uh, speaking of women, Sometimes we hear recently about the cases of denunciation of sexual harassment and, well, about the character of the person. Well, she's been divorced three times, so, so what? The fact you're divorced three times, you're a compulsive liar? But it's still there. It's still there in green in us, in green in our society. And as we address on this second Sunday of Advent, a text that highlights John the Baptist, we have to reflect about that because John was quite a character. Uh, let's just say he had no talent for a political game or small talk. He was calling it as he saw it and he was fierce in his denunciation. And sometimes we we, we look at this character and say, oh yes, we like this, someone who is strong and courageous in his opinion, and that we would hope for our leaders until we're the ones who are criticized. That's starting to be something else, and then the attack about character start. And only the way John dressed, you know, with clothed with camel hair, he was eating locusts, it did not have credibility uh, for local authorities. Common people were flocking in the wilderness to listen to him, to be with him. But the powerful of his, of his area, of his time, did not want to hear about him. And still his message was amazing. He was claiming the Messiah is coming. Listen, people. A new world is about to show up, a new way of being will, will emerge from all of this. It's time to change our way, it's time to open our eyes. And there's a reason why this story comes back each year in our church. Because yes, Christmas is coming. We know that Jesus will not be born again. But the good news will come back to us. And are we able to hear this message? Or 
are we will we be stuck in our prejudice and our judgment will we dismiss the messenger because our perceived lack of credibility that's the challenge that is addressed to us in our churches in our society what is more important the message or the messenger the way the messenger look or the life that comes with a powerful message and we need to remind rem, re, we need to remind ourselves of this constantly like i said it's ingrained in us it's ingrained in our culture it's all about look it's all about you know do you have a great shirt and a tie or is it the words that comes out of your mouth that makes you a decent person i hope you will be able to listen to those messages, to go beyond what we have been told, to unlearn those discrimination, and to focus on this message. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I am Reverend Stéphane Vermet, the lectionary man, and until next time, take care of yourself, and bye-bye.